Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually working on a 2012 Silverado. So let's check out what we bought. Honestly, we still have to buy cards. We run a shop, so we have to get stuff, fix it, and sell it. That's part of the game that we do. Obviously, we can't spend all our time in our Silverado that we're doing, but hey, this one's red, and we got a red one too. It's basically the same thing, guys, right? No, I'm just kidding. But let's check it out. I think we picked it up for a really good deal. It's a four by four V8. I mean, this thing is pretty nice. Four doors, kind of, kind of like four doors. Light damage, so hopefully we'll be able to fix it up real quick and turn it around, make some money. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the damage that's going on to this thing. Yeah, it looks kind of bad, but we want to share our experience with these suspension parts actually aren't that bad. Honestly, if you haven't worked on cars that much, this is a great way to start. Get something lightly hit and fix it at home. Weekend project, shouldn't be too bad. We looked up parts for it and a knee assembly, which is basically the upper control, our spindle, lower control, and the whole suspension for it. It's like 75 bucks. So hopefully in a couple hours, we're gonna make this thing run and drive and you know, not salvage anymore, but road ready. I don't know about that, but we'll and, check that and out. we're gonna check if the frame's good. Right, we'll check if the frame's good. We have a line machine, so we'll be able to do that. But overall, it shouldn't be a hard, fixer upper this could be a quick rebuild budget build that we're gonna do and share this experience with you guys so if you're ever curious in rebuilding cars or something yeah this is a great way to start something like this as we were looking online we've seen that the knee assembly 100% is gonna be bad so we went ahead and ordered one and it already came in check it out just like I said right there we got our parts for it so this should be able to make it drive off the trailer should be an issue even though we have a forklift but it's fine it's a nice place to work on right there jack it up swap out the parts we'll check out the frames a 50 50 that's messed up or not but it's a risk that you have to take and hopefully we're not going to find any more damages right i mean you might need an axle tie right end stuff like that but we'll have to check it out take it apart and see what's going on Alrighty guys, there we go. Got all the old parts off. 
that upper control arm was a pain because basically the bolt got frozen, rusted up in the bushing itself, but I got it. No big deal, definitely need a new bolt. This guy's seen better days, but all good, got it off. So the frame looks okay. They just put a bunch of X's on there. We'll have to do an alignment on it for sure. But yeah, now it's time to reassemble. Everything else looks pretty clean. Let's go ahead and get the new upper control arm, lower control arm, spindle, the whole new assembly on there. I got my axle I need to do, tie rod end. Oh yeah, let's get it done. So, got me a new bolt right there. Gonna replace my old one. Um, yeah, they basically sell this stuff at Advanced Auto Parts. It's all wear parts, so nothing really special. Easy to get, which is awesome, because mine's bad. I got a good bit of scars in it. Let's go ahead and replace it. Another small setback in my adventure with the upper control arm. I actually knocked out my alignment pin right there. So basically they go right over here. If you can see them, that one fell off. So I grinded it both sides. That helps you with the upper control arm adjustment when you're doing alignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld it back in there since I knocked mine off. Stinks, but no problem, get it done. Okay, things are falling into place. That's pretty awesome. I basically got them all bolted in there, but not tight. Now I could go ahead and put my axle back on there and my tie rod in. Might as well do that now. Sorry guys, kind of dark. Here we go. There it is. All right. So tie rod in, axle before I put my spindle on. That's kind of hard to get to. So I might as well put those on. And those are my new parts. Let's get it. So there we go, got my tie rod in nice and straight. Sorry guys, it's still dark, but there it is. Everything is on there, it is kind of loose. But once I get all the pieces in together, then I'll lock it down. Just like anything we work with.
pan just like that, looking really good. Got my brake caliper on there, lower control arms locked down, upper control arm. It's looking good. All right, guys, there we go. Just like that, suspension's on, wheel is on, looking good. So let's go ahead and try to drive this thing off and talk more about it. Let's get the jump box on there and it started right up. It's sounding real good. I'm happy about that. I mean, honestly, it should have because it said run and drive, but you never know. It's always a surprise with Copar, but now I just gotta get it off the trailer. Let's do it. All right, just like that, drove it off the trailer, no big deal. Like they said, it was a run and drive, and this time it's true, so that's awesome. Awesome little truck for sure. I wouldn't even say little, because like I said, VA, 4x4, Z71, I mean, nice little top right there. Looks good. It's not the eight foot bed, but honestly, this is great for daily kind of thing, just in case you got some stuff going on. Look at that. We've got some mats in there, awesome. Liners already in, sweet. This thing is looking good. All right guys, so let's check out what we bought. Like I said, it's running, looking really good. I mean, not bad, you know, looks pretty good condition. Needs a good vacuum, but overall, it's really nice. The seats are good, not ripped, nothing going on. I mean, I don't even have a check engine light going on right now. It's running, got my brake pedal on. Um, yeah, my tire pressure's off. I have my sensor unplugged, so that's probably what's going on with there. But yeah, no airbag light, no check engine light. Nice, I even got some gas, check it out. Sweet, looking real good. Radio's working. Let's see if our AC's going. Auto. AC's on. Let's just blow it, yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, that's getting real cold. That's good news, I'm really happy with it. Windshield's not even cracked, what? Awesome, I'm just happy the airbags didn't deploy. Let's turn that off. Right, there we go, you can hear me talking, but yeah, four wheel drive. Sweet little truck for sure. That's nice. Got some back seats, I mean, not the biggest, not the full doors, but still, you know, it's better than nothing. You gotta get some friends in here, no problem. Just needs a good cleaning, good washing. And this thing's gonna be looking real nice. Tires is looking pretty good, kind of dirty, but not bad. Front end's good, my girl's coming off. Oh, we'll fix that, no problem. Yeah, I'll get that fixed. Cause that just looks like it's a broken truck, but I'll get that emblem going, it's gonna be nice. So they're saying that the bumper's bad, and I guess it did get hit right there, so might need to fix that. Fender's still messed up, but I don't know. We're gonna see if we're gonna put all that effort into it, fixing it. Might just sell it as is, because now it's a run and drive. We'll get the alignment done, and go, for the, go on the road, you know? If it's going good, why not? It's still a salvage title, so it might not be even worth fixing the fender. It's obviously still a good truck, so I just don't know if we're gonna put the time into it, let somebody else have fun with it. It's not bad. Overall, this door looks good. Running boards are nice and solid. Good bed. Yeah, looking nice. So I would say the next step is let's go ahead and get this thing washed up, cleaned up, and then we'll do alignment on it and drive it. Should be a good little truck. Yeah, this engine's purring. I would say it's not bad miles, and looks like I got a new alternator on there. Somebody's been taking care of it. Pulleys are all sounding good. That is awesome. This thing's pretty clean. Oh yeah, let's get it washed up. All right, guys, there we go. Quick little rinse, and this thing is looking much better. Yeah, there, just like that. Yeah, the fender's still messed up, but like I said. We'll see what we do with that. Looking nice.
like we mentioned before, it's a nice quick budget build, something you can do in your own backyard. Basically do all the work on the trailer itself, so no special tools. You need a little welder here and there, but you shouldn't have to have a welder. <laughs> but that's part of it, you know, no big deal. Got it done. Like I said, just do an oil change on it, alignment, basic maintenance stuff, and this thing's ready, ready to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go in the office and talk about how much we got it for, how much the parts cost us, and how much overall this truck run us. But like I said, let's go in the office and get those numbers. All right, guys, we're inside the office looking at the computer. So basically, we picked it up for 7200 It's basically how much it came out to be after fees and everything, and we got it over here. Uh, we picked up ourselves, so we saved some money on shipping. It cost us $75 for that knee assembly, which wasn't too bad, and then 130 for the tie rod end of the axle. So overall, 7400 something. So basically, 7500 bucks total for the truck. So let us know what you think, guys. It was a good budget build. Should we put a little more money and time into a fixed defender, get her all the way, or let somebody else have fun with it kind of thing, move on in life? I don't know. There's definitely options in life, but like we're saying, this is something you could do yourself. Not that bad. Check it out. Go co See what goes. Basically, you got to pick it up cheap enough. That's the key thing. I still think we're in the green with this one, so we should be able to make a little bit of money on it, but hey. Should be good. But thanks, guys. For, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Make sure to leave some comments below. You think it was a good build, bad build? Do you like seeing these kind of things? Or should we just get some more exotic? Let us know. Appreciate the feedback. See you next time.